100 videos. Howdy y'all, my name's Gamer James. I thought I'd take a little bit of time here to do some quick reminiscing, take a brief look at this crazy gaming journey that we've been on. All the ups and downs, all the highs and lows. They're mostly highs, I think, you know, outside of the health issues I've been dealing with. But the gaming part has been a lot of fun for me. Hope it has been for you. So, and... Phew, channel's gone through a lot of changes, and so have I. And so have you, most likely. That's generally what happens over time. But, been through a lot of games together, you and me. Y'all, excuse me, y'all and me. Big, big games, small games, computer games, and really just computer games and any other genres. But I will. And strangely enough, it all started with a mod of a horror slash dating simulator game. <laughs> Don't know how many YouTubers start off with a game like that. But in case you forgot the name of it, it was Doki Doki Literature Club Monica B4 Story. Then after that, we did another game that breaks the four wall, but just on a slightly smaller scale. Inquisitive Day. Then I started looking at one of the classic Sonic games. Sonic C. And then yet another fourth wall breaking game. One shot. And who could forget... Celeste! We have some of the smaller games like... Factory Balls! And... Rookie Ball! And also... Musical Lantern! And then that one game called... You have to win the game! Yeah, I did some stretching and played a game called... Sling! There was a game that was more fun than I anticipated. Strange K-World! Then another classic game from my childhood based on a cartoon from my childhood, and I imagine a lot of yours, dolls. Stinko Man 20x6! Then we got deep into a deep game about deep subjects. The evolution of trust. Pretty wide variety, isn't it? It's just that, that many games out there, and I've covered probably less than 1% of all the different types of games there are. If you can even enumerate those. And on top of that, I also did three game reviews, and those were completely impromptu. I, I mean, I had a structure to them, but had no idea how they were gonna go. And, uh, as you may have noticed, I'm not that good at impromptu. And it'd be a lot easier to notice if I didn't do so much editing. I can't do it, y'all. So the first one was for the first game we did, Doki Doki Literature Club, Maka Bipor Story. And then there was one for One Shot. And finally, one for... Wait for it. Celeste! So, those were a lot of fun, and I am hoping to do more down the road. Play games that are long enough for me to do a critique of them. Or, sorry. Review. Scary. And I am hoping to do more of those down the road and play some games that are long enough for me to do a review of them. But I thought those were pretty cool, you know. You look at them and think, I could have done that so much better. But they could have been worse, and they got better over time, at least I think. And I had fun just discussing things, kind of like a, like a podcast. That's what podcasts are about, right? Just talking about things. But I would be remiss if I did not include my very first video. Let's take a look at that, why don't we? Howdy, y'all, my name is... Okay, that is enough of that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just dealing with a thing I call YFVC syndrome. It's a YouTuber's first video cringe. If you make 100 videos or even 50 videos and you take a look at your first video, you'll, you'll know what I mean, y'all. Maybe some of you do. So, yeah, I was a little different back then. And, of course, I had a much lower quality microphone, lower quality camera, and less experience talking to people through a camera and a microphone. And I've gained a little bit now, and I realize a professional actor I am not. I think, you know, I think I'm, you know, I'd say I'm decent at coming up with funny and clever things to say. Delivering them is a bit of a different story. I can really practice and really, really edit. <laughs> It might also help if I uh, took some actual acting lessons or something. Uh, I've taken like one acting course in my life, so might be might be worth it to try that. Uh, see if that helps. Maybe I'll put that to a vote. Y'all can tell me if I should take acting lessons or if I can just stay al natural like this. Is that the right term, al natural? I ain't how you pronounce it. I know that much. <laughs> also, I got some learning to do as a comedian. I have a bad habit of laughing at my own jokes, and that that's a that's a big no no when you're. <laughs> Trying to make people laugh, you don't. I mean, you can sometimes, but usually you just wanna but pretend like you're dead serious when you're saying the most ridiculous stuff. I think that's called deadpan humor. It's a lot of fun, but I'm still not that great at it, y'all. But thank you for sticking with me through the cringy stuff. And if you enjoyed it, then 
forget I mentioned cringy stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now so we can take a look at some of the highlights of this journey, because we need to have at least a few of those, I think. Terribly sorry for that. Instead, I, I just started glitching out. Like a glitch. Like that one girl. I'm serious about this, Monica. This isn't some game. <laughs> That, that would be pretty wild. In reality, you just buy that much. I'll take one of everything. <laughs> and then Mr. Krabs comes up. I love bubble money! Okay. I don't mind being the gentleman like this, but I am still starving. With as much composure as I can manage, I carve another slice for myself and dig into it. I slide my phone back into my pocket. Wait, what's this? I gave her the bracelet, and my wallet goes back in the other... Mints! Mints! Shoot! My mouth probably smelled horrible. <laughs> Yes! Yes, 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 I was feeling a bit scared back there. I never thought I thought I was completely alone. <laughs> that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Howdy, y'all. My name's Gamer James, and welcome back to Let's Play One Shot. There we go. And welcome back to Let's Play One Shot. Make sure it was working this time. I have not any dreams this weird zipper. Oh, this will be interesting. This is a nice little logic puzzle. Okay, well, I got it now. Mute music. Where'd you go? Oh, hi! Uh -oh. Madeline, darling, slow down. Uh-oh, I hope you know how to deal with those things. Yeah, we'll throw you right at it. Okay, that plan didn't work. Man, whoever came up with the AI for these things did a good job. I hate you. Ah, uh -huh. was that necessary? Oh, I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm sweating, y'all. I'm sweating. And I love it. Uh, oh, bring me the piano. Bring that piano back! Oh, gosh. Yes! Yes! Look at her go. Look at us. Look at us. One more time. One more time. Third time's the charm. Look at... Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> I'm gonna get... I'm gonna find that charm here. Eventually. Whee! Now, whee! I'm gonna do a difficult default, stalty difficult setting. Uh... Iron Hearts presents. You have to win the game. Technically, it's uh, minor key games, but oh boy, what does that do? Oh! Oh! Hi. <laughs> I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Just give me a hit in the head. That's what I deserve after all of this. Do that. Cover that. Make it all orange. Take that off. Cover that. Put that on. Do that. There it is. It's backwards, though. Or was it? Am I? Did y'all see that? Was that? Was that the right? I don't know. I'm not sure what I just saw there. I'm going. It worked though. I'm on the next level. I'm going to leave well enough alone. Uh huh. Oh boy, here we go. This is it. I'm done. I'm so done. Stretch and stretch and wee. -de 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 -de. Now I gotta go back. Portal's not always where you want it to be. Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this for a while. Okay, that works. If you can kindly. Oh man! I don't think we're gonna make it. You never know. How I did that. That's miracles happen. I need to have a little more faith, don't I? Factory Balls FOREVER! I need that to go somewhere. I need you, need you to go. I need you... I, need, I want you out. I want you out of my life right now. Never, never, never put a slide puzzle in your friggin' game! Oh boy, I've been waiting for this for 15 years, y'all. 
I actually, I was, I was 15 when I first started this game. Back in the day. Oh, oh, I see what's going on here. We're going through all the levels. I love it! Brothers Chaps, you are awesome! <laughs> Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming, coming, coming. Oh, and of course, I got these platforms. What's your weak point, man? Oh, beefy arm. It's the eyes. There's a clue in there. I don't know what it is. This is the feeling. This is a feeling I'm quite familiar with. I know I gotta do something, but I don't know what! Unsuccessful behaviors go away. And successful behaviors are imitated. That's usually how people work in the real life. They go with what has worked in the past. Not not all the time, of course, but they go with what's worked in the past. And they get rid of what hasn't worked. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of saying that, hoping that it's true. A lot, a lot of people do go with things in the past that didn't work and think, well, it'll, it'll work this time somehow. Because things are different and because I'm smart and we're smarter than them. I don't know. Phew. The deepness, y'all. A lot of things, a lot of, a lot goes into becoming a jerkwad. Yeah, you have to, you have to really work at that. <laughs> it's easy at first, but then you have to, you have to keep it steady. You have to keep a steady stream of distrust, I guess you could say. Click, click them away, click them away, clickety click, 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 pop, pop, pop. Ooh, I love it. Like an actual gumball machine. Hey, oh, oh, a lot of dog goggles in here, aren't they? They look like. Ding -g 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 or g -g ground dogs or something. G -g good, good, good grief. I could do this all day. Oh, is there a key in the? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, is there a key in the? Oh, stop giving me clues. I'm trying to finish my sentence here. Focus. Go that away. Go there. 180. Go to the top left. 180. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 Uh. I had nothing to do with this. Now, to celebrate video number 100, I'd like to do something that no, no let's play. play! Actually, I think no, no YouTuber. YouTuber! Actually, you know what? No, no human, human being has, has ever done, done before. before! I've mentioned a few times before that I'm a big fan of music and have some skill in music, and now I would like to play Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, third movement, using nothing but a toothbrush. Good times, y'all. Good times. Now, there's something I actually haven't mentioned up until now. Um, I've had a lot of inspiration to see if I could take a stab at, or a shot at, I guess in my case, take a shot at doing YouTube and just playing games. I guess Let's Playing is the specific thing I do. Of course, all the great, shall we say, gaming YouTubers, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Bijou Mike, does he count? But there's actually one guy who does game reviews who uh, gave me some advice and inspiration I needed to uh, do it well, like what kind of microphone to get to the empty blue microphone. But he goes by Honest Biggums, and I hope he's still around by the time this video comes out and years down the road, because he made some pretty fun game review videos. That's what he did, and he did a video one time where he uh, it was a Q and A session through Discord. He had people talk to him through Discord and just ask him stuff about well himself and games. So I talked with him a bit. I was one of the I was the last person to talk with him. And I got to hear how I sound in a video for the first time. Sounded like I had a cold, y'all. But I asked him about the details of it, and he was nice enough to oblige me, and I don't know if he knows me anymore, but or remembers me, but he deserves a lot of credit for getting me started. So I'll provide a link to that video. It is, uh, his channel's not a family-friendly one, just so you know, but at least not 100%. But that was a fun conversation we had, and... I have him to thank for getting the best kind of microphone that you can't see down there. <laughs> he also mentioned uh, getting a shock mount, which is a thing that helps, I guess, absorb shock. I'm actually not sure what it does, but it's an important thing, and that's, this microphone comes with one of those. So now I'm passing that along to you if you want to be a 
want to have a good microphone. Kind of expensive, but your voice sounds very clear. So even if you got a voice like mine, it can sound pretty good. So thanks a bunch for that, Mr. Biggums. Hope you're doing all right, wherever you're into right now. And of course, one thing I got to talk about, since this channel is all about comparing the old and the new, let's compare what the channel used to be like to what's like today. Uh, not a lot changed, but quite a bit actually. So, well, I guess that's that's up to you how much it's changed. But it has changed. I like to think the original three goals I had, which were uh, keeping the videos family friendly, comparing old and new games, which I've mostly just been playing old and new games. So maybe I'll maybe I'll do some comparison down the road specifically, but mostly just been playing old and new games. And finally, uh, looking at the games from a Christian point of view. So those three goals. I haven't really changed. I'll admit, uh, some videos have been a little less than family friendly. I, I, that's sort of a subjective point of view. I did say the H word one time, but it was, it was in a context where it was necessary, I think. But I guess y'all let me know if I've gone too far there. Of course, I'm one of the few people still around who still cares about swear words and what they mean. You know, they, they mean different things in different contexts, but mostly they seem like insults to me. Try, trying to hurt people's feelings on purpose, so that's why I generally steer away from them and do my best. It's not easy, especially when you're playing new games, you have no idea what you're in for. It's not easy to keep things family friendly, even even if you're kind of loose with that. But I did my best, I think. I honestly don't know how I managed that with a Doki Doki Literature Club mod, even if it's a mod. That, again, contains a lot of not, not family friendly stuff. I made that work somehow, thank God, because that was my first game. So I do plan to continue doing things that way and also keep my own mouth clean. You know, even because even for a guy who doesn't like to swear, it does take effort sometimes, y'all. I also do plan to continue doing older games and newer games with caution again, because you know, you never know what you're going to get. Especially these days, it's whatever. Yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club taught us anything. And also, keep a good balance, you know, I don't know how many old games I've done versus new games. I'll take a look at that and see if I can't keep a good balance for, you know, the both people who enjoy both types. There, there are people who enjoy both, some who prefer the old, some who prefer the new. I don't know which one I fit into. Old, I'm old. Old, old. Old fashioned, old styled. I'm an old son of a gun, y'all. I mean, I'm 32, but a lot older. Then, of course, there's the Christian point of view part. Uh, I haven't gotten too deep into that, but I have enjoyed, you know, seeing the comparison to scripture, like seeing moments where scripture seems appropriate. One shot was a good example. And, you know, just kind of sneaking it in sometimes when it's only slightly related to the game or not related at all. Because, you know, part of the Christian faith and really any faith is sharing it with others and, you know, mixing it into the things you say and do every, at least every now and then. So that's why I do that. So if you like it, I'm glad. If you don't like it, well, get used to it. I'm not trying to be in anybody's face about that. It's just, I think it is, you know, the Bible. It's an interesting book full of interesting stories and good life principles, whether you happen to believe the story part of it or not. So that's why I like to include it in my videos. Also, I think it's something people need, especially nowadays, the faith and but both faith and traditional American values are on the decline. So I feel like I got to do my part, even if it's through silly gaming videos. We got to do something about y'all. Let's play some chess. Last thing, what is in store for the future of this video? I'm afraid the answer to that is the same as always. I'm not God, so I don't know. But I'm open to at least do weekly or bi-weekly videos. See what I see what I can fit into my busy schedule. My health has been getting better, getting a little more focused, a little more, a little more energy, and a little more motivation too. So that's all good. Hopefully, I can gather up enough of it to make some good, good quality videos, or at least play good quality games and. Uh, put as much quality as I can into the... But, while the future and my health and my schedule are all unpredictable, one thing I know for sure is I could not have made this far and won't make it any farther, most likely, without your support. So I'm not asking for money, I'm just saying. Y'all being there to join with me in the fun, watching these videos, commenting, liking, subscribing. You know, it's not a big channel, I know. Not, not so far, anyway. But, it's been... A lot of fun and a lot more fun with y'all's y'all's support. Is that word y'all's? So my biggest reason for doing this channel used to be just for the sake of having fun and you know experimenting, seeing what I'm capable of and if I got enough talent and gaming skill. So so much for the talent, but I got enough gaming skill. But that has changed now, speaking of change, to because of y'all. Because of the support you give me and the fun you like having and 
uh, just being here, having a good time, and you know, giving your precious time to watching a guy from Kentucky play video games. So, with all that being said, let's see if we can't keep it going. And if we can't, we'll at least say we had a good run and see what changes are ahead, both for this channel and in the world. Again, unpredictable, but that's the fun part of life. That's the fun part of gaming. That's the fun part of YouTube. So once again, thank you all for 100 videos and sticking with me through all those, through so many games, through all the ups and downs, the olds and news, the uprights and the left downs, the counterclockwises, the clockwises. That's from your point of view there. <laughs> and thank you all for watching this video. Until next time, Adios, amigos. God bless, and I'll see you around. Howdy folks, my name's Gamer James, it's uh, Gamer Jumaju. Judy Judy Judy. <laughs> my name's Juby Fonix. Howdy all, my name's Gamer James, and I'm just gonna tune me the hube. That's alright with you. <laughs> I thought I'd just take some time to do a little bit of reminiscing, a little bit of reviewing of uh, uh, this game in Germany. Germany. Focus, focus, focus. Thank you. <laughs> and in another classic. Pretty wide. Gambit, is that the term? So the first one was for the first game. Doki Doki Literal Club, that's not how I said it. But I would be remiss if I neglected to remember what my line was. Sorry about that. You'd have a joke right now. So we can take a look at some of the highlights of this gaming journey. You and me. You, you and me. Now there's something I actually haven't mentioned before now. Uh, I've had a lot of inspiration from... <laughs> it was a Q&A through Discord. He had people talk to him through there. Through there. Doggone it, that muzzle's still getting dusty. <laughs>